Happy Friday! I have been getting some really interesting emails, phone calls, and having some interesting conversations about what is our equity curriculum and do we have book bundles? Now the book bundles are something that really came up because of some other school districts in the news. And so when I started looking at the list of what is in the book bundles, the equity book bundles, it kind of caused me to raise an eyebrow. I'm a former literacy coach. I got my first master's in reading. I love books. I probably buy not enough. There's never enough book I, books in the world. I can't wait to retire to be a librarian so I can read them all. I love children's books especially, which is why it was important that I started with integrating literacy on some of the activities I did. So looking at these book bundles, I wanted to share with parents and you all what are the titles and just cause you to maybe Google them yourself. So The Bell Rang is a book that I am familiar with because it talks about getting out of school on time. But then Word Collector by Reynolds, I'm familiar with that author. We go from Paper Kingdom, The Oldest Student Who Learned How to Read, What Was the Underground Railroad, Let's Talk About Race, um, and it goes on and on and on. Looking at these titles, I'm kind of like, what's wrong with the life of Frederick Douglass? And what happened with the place to land with Martin Luther King Jr. in the speech that inspired the nation? Uh, the story of Harvey Milk, Equity's Call, the story of voting rights. So I'm going through this and I'm looking at the titles and I'm like, well, some I would maybe ask what's in them, but others just based off of the titles, I I can't see anything wrong with them. Again, here's another Reynolds book. Black is a color, as a rainbow color. Little Legends, Exceptional Black Men in History. So then I decided something must be missing. Maybe by the titles, I'm not seeing everything. I haven't read all these books, shocking. And I maybe when I go into classrooms, I might need to look them up because as a teacher at the beginning of the year, I always read books on how to behave, how we treat each other in the classroom and the importance of community. So I'm gonna show at least three or four of these books to you all and you can decide if these equity book bundles are dangerous for our students and our cause for alarm. We have our first one that we have the word collector. Now he's going around collecting all kinds of words, big words, little words um, like emerald and all kinds of other words, but then he collects most powerful. powerful words. I understand. I'm sorry. I hate the sound of this. I'm Thank sorry. You. You matter. Now, it's funny that he says you matter to the dog, but he's collecting words. The more words he collects, the more he can share with the world what he's thinking. I mean, it's going on that this young man is working to own his words and tell the world who he is and how he can make it better. I don't see anything wrong with those words. Okay, let's go on to the next one. This one was on the list. It is the oldest student who learned how to read, Mary Walker. When we look at it, Mary Walker was 15 when her brother, sisters, and mother were free. The Emancipation Proclamation said no, and basically she's on to Freedom Road. She's on to Freedom Road, and we follow Mary Walker through her life in the civil rights, her husband passes away, she doesn't have a lot of money, she ends up in a nursing home and she can't read. So because Mary Walker was a slave who was free at the age of 15, when she's finally 114 years old, someone taught her how to read. Is that bad? Are we mad that she learned how to read? Okay, then the little the Little Ones, I love these books. This one is The Little Leaders, and we know this series. Many of us have them, but this Little Leaders, Bold Women in Black History, you know I'm all for that. And here's a few pages of those Little Leaders. Um, Bessie Coleman, that's pretty, that's pretty historic. We probably wanna learn about the first woman who learned how to fly. If that's an inequity bundle, that's actually, that's a good story. I, I think I'm gonna buy that. And then finally, another book that I was thought, what is going on is the black is a rainbow color. So black is a crayon tangled in a box. Black is a feather on white winter snow. Black is dirt where sunflowers go, grow. Okay. Oh, 
Black are the braids in my best friend's hair. Black are the bottoms of summertime feet. Black are soft circles that spin mm, down the street. My color is black. Look at her hair. If I had books like that growing up, I probably wouldn't have uh, straightened it with that creamy crack that I shouldn't have put in my hair. What a wonderful representation for a young black girl who is in a school and she could find that. Um, black are dreams and raisins left out in the sun to die. Black is the color of ink staining page. Black is the mask that shelters his rage. Black are the birds in the cages that sink. Black is a color. Black is a culture. I'm not offended because I'm black and my black is a culture. Um, let's see. Oh, this is a beautiful picture that shows the black culture behind in church. Uh, black. Oh, here we go. That could be offensive. That could cause some question uh, for some parents having that in a book. So these book bundles have created quite the stir, these equity book bundles. And so I just wanted to give you all some Friday facts and share with you. I think it's important when you're sending an email to an administrator in a school district concerned about the book bundles that maybe a little bit of research goes into it. Uh, because as we're looking at these books, we're kind of wondering what the underlining problem really is. Books are good. The more you read, the more you know. And the more you have, the more you can understand perspectives and people's lives and what they've gone through. And you can connect with other students who may not look like you. And those are some Friday facts.